You always want to be in the room where it happens. You may recognize that song, The Room Where It Happens. That, of course, is from the hit musical Hamilton. After conquering audiences in this country, the show has now invaded Britain big time. As Mark Phillips reports from London, it's perhaps a little ironic that it's now the hottest thing on stage there. Good morning. Of all the musicals that have crossed the Atlantic, Hamilton may have arrived in London with the most baggage. It is, after all, a show about the American Revolutionary War, which the British famously lost. So how would it play in the land of the losers? Easy. That was then. This is now. Me, I died for him. Me, I trusted him. Me, I loved him. And me. I'm the damn fool that shot him. Shot the same question that had been asked when the show opened in New York was asked even louder when it opened in London. What's your name, man? Alexander Hamilton. The once little known founding father of the American Revolution was even less known here. Not anymore. I'm past patiently waiting, I'm passionately smashing it. What had blown away Broadway, the punchy hip hop beats, the rap style lyrics, the white founding fathers played by actors of color, blew away the cobwebs of stereotype from London's West End just as quickly. And Jamal Westman, the hometown actor who plays, wasn't surprised. You can see today that both American history and, and, and British history is wrapped up. And if you yeah. think about current uh, political climates, as it were, or world poli uh, politics, we are very much intertwined in each other's history. Mm. The choices that we make here or the choices that are made in America will affect everyone. Awfully similar. Um, and that's yeah. exactly yeah. massively similar yeah. in that respect. Still, could a British cast accomplish what an American cast had done in New York? And when I'm Thomas Jefferson, I'm a compelling to Rachel John. South London through and through plays one of Hamilton's romantic interests, Angelica Schuyler. Giles Terrera, also a Londoner to the core, won the Olivier Best Actor in a Musical Award for his take on Hamilton's nemesis, Aaron Burr. To bring something like that here and to use a British cast, I mean, you don't... Talking now, you don't sound like you sound on stage. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> you. Thank you. Yeah. So you kept that part yes, of it. Yes, we did well. We did well. But going into having to match you know, the acclaim, as I say, that, that uh, this play had on, on Broadway, does that raise the stakes? Does that raise the pressure? Yes. Mm. Yes. So, and as far as you let it. So here comes the, the trick, they say, is not to let it. The show's success in New York may have meant its fame preceded it, but there was another danger, history. How would a musical about an American victory and a British defeat in the U.S. War of Independence play here? If you're doing historic winners and losers, this is a play about the winners in the place of the losers, that that oh, matter. I oh, see where you, I see that, where you're coming from. I, I, like, I didn't realize that's what. Oh, so we're the losers. Oh, okay, oh, right, I get oh, it. I get I it. Guess, Sorry. Oh, I, I <laughs> the Brits are the losers. Loser. The Americans are winners. Yeah. I get it. No, I know where you are. I'm I so sorry. Know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, so what's your answer? The way he writes isn't not really about Britain losing. It's about no. it's about that group of people gaining their independence mm. and being free. Da, 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 da. There is one slight adjustment in the play here. The character of the British king at the time, George III, is played a bit more for laughs, less perhaps as a villain. He's a big hit. Everybody, take a shot, take a shot. And so's the play. Sold out, of course. The place may be different, but the themes are universal. There's a line, which is a famous line, which is, immigrants, we get the job done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that resonates uh, with sure. people in America, <laughs> yeah. and it resonates with audiences here. Britain, too, has its immigrant story, and the London cast of Hamilton is part of it. A generation of people and their children who were brought over to rebuild the country after the war and work on the buses and work in hospitals. My mother was a nurse. I was My mother say, too. Probably all three. My mother too, right. yeah. 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 And so whether it's now or whether it's 250 years ago or 200 years' time, <laughs> you kind of think, if someone's that brilliant at writing, 
that will that will speak to mm -hmm. different people in different countries at different times. Hopefully. If it works, it works. If it works, yeah. it works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it works. One difference here from New York is they've managed to keep ticket scalping prices down. Only the person who bought the ticket can use it, and you've got to show picture ID to get in. Nora. Oh, oh gosh, Mark, Mark Phillips. What if you're buying a gift for somebody and it said only the person who bought the ticket? That's okay. It's still a great play. However, you get to go see it. I know. Don't I you don't like that little that. rule? Don't like that little. Don't you want to see it now in Again. London? Yes. I, know. I know it would be time number four for me. Yes, the London version. Too. But and Lyndon well, Miranda says this is one of the best casts ever, right? Yep. Yep, he has seen it and totally approves. Yeah. I think no matter where you see Hamilton, it's a good show. It but yeah. I hear that these guys are exceptional. And the French, I mean, the uh, British and the American, can they can join together in making fun of the French, which the play does. So that's and, one thing that crosses the Atlantic. And, yes, and, and the king has played for laughs here, too. Yeah. In fact, yeah. It, it got so whenever the king walked out on stage, you would start cracking up before he even sure. opened his mouth because you knew it was going to be something. So good. Hilarious.